Okay. And... Actually, I'm going to take stock of my... Uh... I knew you... My current situation here. Twinkling reinforces... Okay, so we're just gonna... I've not done a lot of this, but we're gonna level focus now. Ten thousand. Bearer of the curse, seek so, seek the lest this. Okay. That that boost should allow us the use of um the use of the parrying dagger without being too heavy. But I'm just gonna Put these various stats under their soft caps before we um, before we go much further into it. Okay. So we go to straits. And the parry dagger, I believe, is the, the easiest tool to parry with. And that it gives you an immediate... That it gives you an Im immediate parry, like, from the moment you hit the button. That was risky. Okay. Not that any of these guys are the type of guys who are going to parry. Oh, really. Okay. Proceed. My fault. I handled that poorly. <sighs> Beware of fickle use of this black separation crystal. Methodology for that um, parrying dagger is quite different from what one is used to. Okay.
God, my timing is way off. And then I'm like trying to be like, this is a shield now. Even though it's really not. Life gem. And then we get eight life gems. So weird. She really just <sighs> the thing that I think is just really messing my uh, timing on it is. Just the fact that the um, act of parry is immediate. So you have to react basically right away. That's where that, um, I think that's where the other Pharaoh's Lockstone leads, is to Belfry Luna. Which is a different area than Belfry Soul. How do I get over there? Oh, it looks like I just go inside. Lord Soul of the Lost Unbed. And then we just go down. Human effigy. timing is very different and I'm not at all used to it because there's like an amount of time for when you press the button on the parrying shields to where the um, parrying action actually becomes active and it's the delay that's not present in the parrying dagger. That makes using it awkward for me. Although once I get used to it, I think that's probably the uh, tool you could become the most effective at parrying with. But yeah, it's it's weird. I'm 
which is the only thing I can really think about at the moment. Yeah, I, I knew that was coming, which is why I um, stepped off like I did. The throwing knife. The sharp blade is intended to cause bleeding rather than simply inflict damage. This simple weapon is easily, easily utilized but has limited range and deals little damage. However, if the knife can cause bleeding, the target max HP will be lowered. So... There's Luca Teal. And we're going to want to utilize her service is just not actually I saw some inside way back at the bonfire so I just wanna the lost Bastille bonfire and not sinners rise So I actually just want to um, very briefly check that out. It's actually not that far away. It's a player. Okay. I'm just checking for the sake of checking. We actually need to summon Luca Teal for her quest. Which is actually why I found it. I mean... Inevitably, I'm probably going to miss stuff, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to miss stuff. God, that is really slow. Do we have any other... We do have some poison arrows. Actually, a really quick death. And that should be enough to do them. Oh, yeah. 
Don't us don't underestimate the power of poison in this game. It is one of the most awesome stats. Especially against enemies that would um, take forever to kill like that one. Gold wing shield I never read. A blue shield with the gold relief of wings. Likely a symbol of guardianship used by Knights of the Blue. Contains materials enchanted by magic allowing spells to be reflected by parrying. So you can parry magic in this game too, which is... A concept I would like to um, try. Uh, comes some Parma fancy name and nifty paint to surely merchants effort to make this very ordinary shield more attractive. Which soldier soul shield? The advantage of the shield is that it makes parrying easy. Clerics Parma can deflect magic by. Pairing Parma used by clerics on pilgrimage, a channel with somewhat fragile blessing that allows spells to be deflected by pairing. Fortunately, shield provides very little physical defense and is more a lucky charm than a proper shield. Silver Eagle Kite Shield, commonly used standard shield. I think I purchased that. Black and white contrast depicts the ebb and flow of the fate of all living things and the serpentine dragons that watch over the march of time. Bearer of the shield will be blessed by great fortune in battle. I think that increases the discovery rate then. Blossom Kite Shield has a positive effect on stamina recovery. Purchased that. And we picked up the tower shield. I just kind of read the ball because I'm pretty sure we picked up a shield, but I couldn't remember what it was, which one it was, or what it did. All right. Large soul nameless. Kill him. Alluring skulls, we're getting a ton of those. Try attacking. Oh! Smooth and silky. Yeah, that message deserves a rate. Um. Yeah, the steel key opens this. Fire seed. And backstabbing these spear based ones is usually pretty trivial. Hide spear has lightning damage. Spear originating in the hide. Special ally makes it very durable. Composition of the alloy of these spears remains a mystery, but in drag like the attempt to imitate it resulted in a similar brand and steel. Uh So I'm just going to start on these upper cells. 
Don't give up. By the way, skeleton. This guy... We shall end his life. Sell sword and do it. I'm just going to open these doors. And then we will, um, presumably after having our HP restored, we can, um, go and check out the bottom. I think there's going to be a couple of the explodey guys down in here. The slam is usually pretty safe. Pretty good hit directly, and uh, there's a body there, but no item. A couple more rooms. So I'm proud knight and a Pharaoh's lock zone. Alright. Now that we've explored all of this, I'm gonna go get Cell Sword Lewis. I'm also going to peek and see at, um, yeah, okay, only two, only two, uh, NPCs available, actually. So we'll take him, and we'll come back and get Luca Teal. And having done that, we will light our torch and proceed. Hello, Luca Teal. that I'm mostly just concerned with um, if we miss out anything having gone going through the doors either direction we probably don't but you never Never know for sure. Okay. Radiant life gem. Yeah, you must. 
sell sword. Just curious if we uh, missed anything down there. Alright, um... That was stupid. I flicked the torch out of inventory. Before using it. Not a smart thing to do. Alright. Now we flicked it out of inventory. Go the lights. That does a lot. The broadsword actually. Sorry, the bastard sword does a lot more damage. I don't think you actually. Very greedy. Cell sword been vanquished. We get slightly fewer souls, but... I prefer continuing story arcs in the same breath. Uh, how many would we have got? 45,000? I came in with like a, a shade over 20. Yeah, I definitely got fewer souls, but yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh-huh. Look at that treasure chest. Fragrant branch of, branch of your and Elizabeth Mushroom. Especially tree of dried mushroom creates a euphoric sensation when ingested and restores a large amount of HP over time. 
Saint Elizabeth devoted her life to helping the needy by concocting medicine and potions. It's thought her great virtue is matched only by her sublime beauty, but who can say no? Pointless. And we get an empty room. Uh, uh, for victory, sadness ahead. The primal bonfire was rekindled. Nothing to do but go back. Undead can say. You acquired the soul of an old one. I I, I skipped it because I didn't expect her to actually say anything new. Alright, and then we have fifteen thousand I always like to save. Some souls. You don't need all the levels. But, yeah, I'm just thinking. I could put points into intelligence and faith. Mostly intelligence to, just to pop the magic guy's spells and then respec away. Vitality. And then we're going to work on strength and dex primarily. Bearer of the curtains. And that was the only new dialogue she really had. Huh. Uh. So we have six twinkling now. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna swing back very briefly here to the servant quarters of the Lost Bastille. We head down. So I just peek at my stats here very briefly. Oh, there it is. Yeah, all right, that's Belfry Luna. Undead! Undead! Keep that so far, Bell! The great bell of Arkham. The bell belongs to the princess, it do. Stay back and we slice, slice you to bits. Near my chums, we shall be met. For the looks of it. Stay away, foul and dead, or you'll be a goner. <laughs> Stay back! It belongs to the princess, it do.
You wish to guard the bell, you do. For the prince and the princess forever. For true. Well, no, but we'll join the Covenant for now. Kind of off his rocker. Ring of the Bellkeeper Covenant. Join this covenant and wear this ring to be automatically summoned to the world of an invader of the Bellkeeper's domain. The twin bells symbolize the bond between two lovers who can never be united. The Bellkeepers are their eternal guardians, for that is their love, that is their curse. So, yeah, it's a PvP covenant. Try. Uh. Yeah, that doesn't. Trio. Yeah. You are a dwarf, by the way. Dark spirit. Dwarf. And these guys are just. Three eighty five. Um, what do you say? Skeptic Spice, Try Tongue, and then uh, yeah. Okay, then. Masterless Glencore. Um, that is actually a helpful drop. More skeptic spice. Blue Tearstone Ring. Um, ring set with a rare Tearstone. Reacts when the wearer is in danger, temporarily increasing its wearer's defense. Kathia, Goddess of Tears, warns those who have lost loved ones by shedding pure tears of blue. It is said that the stone set in this ring is one such tear. And it's one of the most famous rings in the game. It exists in um, all the Souls games up to this game. Sure, we have uh, we can't actually go that way now. Yeah, that wasn't. They all want a piece. Whoa. Uh, 
There's a good... Very good pathway to death, in fact. Um... More... S it's like three skeptic spices now. I'm just surveying for more items. Right, we'll give this a single whack and then we'll open it. Radiant Life Gem and Twilight Herbs. Gray herb that grows hidden among the rocky surface of tall mountains restores a number of spell uses. There's no end to the scores of people who risk life in them to forage this, for this valuable herb, which led to the banning of its harvest in some regions. And then I wanted to see... Uh, we have a ton of skeptic spices now. Alright. What does it say about ringing the bell? Don't you dare. I dared. Will this guy say anything about it? That's the other question. In okay. Time to stretch. Time to fix. We've been reading this. Yeah. He doesn't really say anything new. So, I'm guessing there's no real adverse effects to ringing the bell. That I know of, anyway. Oh! Never mind. gotta be really good at whittling these guys down because they can hurt you. There is an NPC summon, so I'm just going to call upon their assistance.
Yeah, this weapon's just a little bit... It's a little slow. Um, but yeah, this... My thinking here is to give the gargoyles another target. guys just kind of pile on and make life miserable. I'll take... I'll take Doki. Emily. Determined to even the odds. game is just to see how many they can have you fight. Oh, he tried to save his buddy. It's not impossible, especially if you fight them later in the game. Which, I think the first or second time I played was exactly what I did. It was um, fight the Belfries much later in the game. Be wary of jumping. Nice job. So I'm a proud. Yeah, I, did, I didn't realize we had... I thought they were in the Belfry Soul, but they're in the Belfry Luna. Alright, well, two for... Two bosses for the price of one, and that's a one-way. It's a one-way drop. Southern ritual bands. One of the secret treasures restored in Aldia raises the number of spells you may attune. This modest-looking ring contains very powerful magic. 
To imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings, one only need recall the cruel fate of the residents of Aldia. Death. Also death. And more death. Yeah, we're just kind of... We're actually going to go back to Majula to uh, spend our souls, then we'll attempt that area. Traveling gear. Nothing else. I'm gonna burn two prouds. That may have. Bearer of seek, seek, less than. That sh that could have been a waste, actually. Actually works out fine. Alright, the next thing I'm actually going to do is uh, get intelligence up to 10 so I can um, get that magic guy to be willing to teach us spells. No respect. And put those points elsewhere. Probably attunement. I might, might actually want to learn some pyromancy. So yeah, there's going to be a dark spirit. And I actually don't think it's just the dark spirit. not good. Now we get our own little offensive power. Down for the count. And then we come and whack Doggo. Enchanted Falchion. Uh. 
Standard Curve Sword, each slash of the Curve Sword does less damage than a Straight Sword, but can deal a series of hits in flying succession. The Sharp Blade is effective at causing bleeding, but is soon dull. Beware when facing rock solid foes. Uh, petrified something. A peculiar thing to be certain, but one without a known purpose. I actually, I know what the purpose is. The only thing I hate is that um, what I'm expecting, what I expect down here, I uh, get a little off foot because I'm expecting I'm expecting a specific encounter to happen. But it doesn't look like it happens now. I think I have to leave and come back and then it might happen. Um, lost the steel. Actually, it's both free Luna. So, we're going to head back here quick. Oh! Yeah. It did the teleport, but it just teleported us right back to where we were. That, that was silly. I'm pretty sure that there is actually Well, that was not good. Very, very nearly died. Visions of Boss. Yeah, um... Okay, I thought there was an encounter here, but apparently there... The guide is saying no. So we're just gonna... Be like, okay, cool. We're gonna go back to... Um, Firelink then, and... Uh, or, not Firelink. Majula. We're gonna call it a night. Yeah, Stray's items still need to be read at some point. I haven't, I haven't forgotten about that. But that's going to be the end of my play for today. Lost Bastille should be completely clear. Um, I don't know if I've read everything that we picked up. 
Actually, I don't think we read the Dragon Tooth. I think that's what we got that I didn't read. Great Dragon Tooth used as a great hammer. As solid as a boulder, this tooth is said to take it from a dragon, but the truth of this claim is unclear. What is certain is that it bears some mystical power. And its wielder gains resistance to magic and fire. Yeah, and I think everything else is encountered for here, so that's good. Yeah, right, guys, I'm out of here for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't haven't already done so, feel free to follow. Uh, hit the follow button above. Um, share, like, subscribe on YouTube. Much appreciated if you uh, do any of those things. Till next time, guys. Take care of yourselves, and later on.